Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Monday, January 22nd, 2024. The time is 7 o'clock a.m. here in rainy, dark, windy Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on my monthly diamond painting which is a 12-pack grab bag that I bought from Amazon. And these are all from Tiny Fun, which um, I really, really like their canvases. And I am currently working on color 21, which was, is an O, and it's color 3766, which is light peacock blue. I am using the pen that I got from Crafting with V. And I'm really liking this. I love the color. Yeah. Nice. So my screen, my other screen that I've been using when I video, decided not to work today. So I gotta ask my son what's going on. I have no idea why. It's the mouse, like the mouse won't work. And you know I've always had problems with the mouse, but yeah, for some reason. And without the mouse, I can't turn on the screen, so. <sighs> but that's okay. I'll just video it my old way. And I plan on putting a lot of miles on this canvas today. We'll see. We'll see if my big plans peter out or if, you know, I get it done. Yeah, because I was looking at the calendar and it's like, oh my gosh, it is the 22nd already of January. Where has this month gone? And... So, I've got a week and two days to complete this, because this is my January painting. Yeah. Falling behind. <laughs> and also, I know, I think I mentioned this before. in um, my premiere the five panel canvas that I'm doing that you guys picked out as my triple whipper I said it was from Timu well I couldn't find my purchase sheet because I print everything out and I couldn't find it, and I thought, well, it's one that I just forgot to print out, which I do. And then I was looking through all my printouts, and I found it, and um, no, it wasn't Timu. It was Amazon, and I purchased it back a year ago, February of 2023. And I paid $7.99 for it. So that was a steal. So that's probably why I purchased it. Because I don't think I've done a, a panel one before. But it seems like maybe I did. But I can't remember what it was. But anyway. I know for a fact I've never done a five panel. So anyway, that's my correction. I did correct it on my videos. I don't think it's probably available anymore. And I did forget to uh, check on that. 
So, um, yeah, I made a mistake. Story of my life. Yeah, I keep my, I try anyway, to keep my canvases separated where all my Amazon are together, all my Timu are together, but who knows? This one just got put into the Timu stack and which is very possible for me to uh, get them mixed up. But my next ones, because I'm trying to do all my Timus right now. And so I will double check before we vote on the next one that I do. That it is actually a Timu. All right, we're going to switch it up here for colors. And these look like little trees to me. All right, so this is color 18, 964. So let's see if that is on our list. And it is light sea green. Yeah, this is a, I forgot to say, this is a 30 by 40 centimeters. 23 colors and I'm using one of my new suitcases I really like these suitcases that I got the 60 count and the six pack of 30 each so yeah I think I have enough suitcases And it seems like quite a few of you have suitcases, too, and like them. Not everybody, but, you know, we all do what is best for us. And I like the suitcases, so. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I've used them for so many years that it's a habit to me. Also, when um, I was doing my premiere, I was talking about doing videos of my, when I first started diamond painting, and I said, yeah, I did videos on YouTube. No, not YouTube, Facebook. So if anybody watched that, no, they're not, a, well, I do have some on, I did transfer a few of them over to YouTube so you can watch those they're, they're hilarious they're embarrassing they're so dumb I had not a clue what I was doing but anyway yeah if you go into um what is it my playlist and let me just do that quick because I can't remember what what the title is. Um, let's see. How do I do that? Hmm. Content? How do I do it? Okay, let me go into... Hmm. I'm not very good on this, sorry. Let's try it this way. All right. If you go to my page and you do playlists, it's, well, on mine, it comes up the second one and it's called 2018 Journey in Diamond Painting. <laughs> And there's 10 videos in there. But the, I don't know if those are in order or not. Let me look. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I have completed my... How do I... I don't know. Okay, view full playlist. All right. Yeah, they're labeled. My first Diamond Dots project completed. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's the pink one. Okay, first diamond painting, Diamond Dots project day one. <laughs> Now, keep in mind, I had not a clue what I was doing. I had not watched any YouTube videos. Nothing. I didn't know. I had not a clue what I was doing. <laughs> but it might give you a good chuckle. <laughs> oh... I got a bunch of them over my Facebook page. I need to, if anybody, um, you know, I can transfer more over. I think I mentioned that before. They're hilarious. That was before I started YouTube or knew really who was supposed to be doing YouTube. You know, I thought that YouTube was only for professional people. And, yeah, because my experience with YouTube was watching my grandsons and granddaughters, because they were on YouTube all the time. And they used to watch gamers. And they would watch somebody play a game on YouTube. And I said, why are you watching somebody play a game that you have? Why aren't you just playing the game? You know, I mean, it, it just, in my senior brain, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. And... They just kind of looked at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. And they were true. I didn't know what. I, I don't know. And then they used to watch. Oh, and I can't remember. Wild Chad Clay. Oh, my gosh. I got to tell you. <laughs> those videos that they did. I got sucked into them with them. And so it was like, okay, the grandkids have to come over because I have to see what happens next. <laughs> and they were pretty short videos. I mean, you know, we're talking maybe 15 minutes or I don't know, a half an hour. And then go on to the next one. Well, it was like, they better hurry up and post because I want to see what happens next. And I, I will tell you, I admit it, I snuck a peek when they weren't, you know, I wasn't watching them. Because I had my grandkids every day. And they all watched it. So, yeah. Yeah, so I would turn on YouTube and see what happened next. And my granddaughters watched the same as my grandsons, but then they also watched some others. And yeah, I got sucked into those. And <laughs> oh my goodness, how funny. And But I just... But the gaming ones, I just didn't understand. It's like, you shouldn't be watching somebody else playing the game. You should be watching it. And they said, well, we learned stuff. And, okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> I guess. Um, but, anyway, then, 
from there, I found out that I could watch yarn videos, knitting people. But like I said, I because of what I first watched on YouTube and those having millions of subscribers and views and they were professionally done and oh another thing I got sucked into was that guy I can't remember his name but he did a gaming video that he was hilarious yeah I would sneak watching him when the grandkids weren't went around <laughs> oh my goodness But anyway, yeah, so that was my first, I got to move over just a tad. So, you get Sheldon's feet there. Oh man, how far down does this go? Okay, let's do it this way. I'm not doing this whole part here, so let me get my thing out. Yeah, I'm just going to here. This is what I want to get done today. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> okay, Sheldon, you got to go up. All of this I want to get done today. Okay, I think it was January, but I'm not quite for sure, that mentioned that she made meatloaf. And meatloaf has been on my radar to make, but I just haven't, you know, done it yet. Okay, we're going to do color two, which is 208. Very dark lavender. And what is this? Some arrows. Not a whole lot of those, so we're not gonna put out a whole lot here. But anyway, um, I thought, well, maybe I'll kind of shake it up a little bit. So I went online and I found a recipe for meatloaf. All right, it's called Grandma's Meatloaf with Oats. And this is by Robot Lady. All recipes is where I got this from. So it says ingredients, two pounds of ground beef, one cup old fashioned oats, one 8 ounce canned tomato sauce, 2 large eggs slightly beaten, 2 tablespoons minced dried onion, 1 fourth teaspoon granulated garlic, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon ground black pepper, and a fourth cup ketchup or to taste. So those are the ingredients that we all know how to make meatloaf. You mix it all together. Put it in a loaf pan and then you bake it for an hour. This is weird. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 350 degrees. Sorry, it was telling me in Celsius. Um, remove from the oven and spread ketchup over the top. Serve with additional ketchup. If you have picky eaters, leave out the onions and add one half teaspoon of onion powder. You can substitute lean ground pork or turkey for up to one half of the meat for a leaner, healthier version. That is what I am making today. 
So has anybody, it seems like I have made meatloaf with oatmeal before, but it didn't save it to my brain. So has anybody else used oatmeal before? So I have all the ingredients. Thank goodness. Although, I may, instead of using, what did it say? Minced dried onions, and I think I do have those, but I think I may use just a regular onion. And I may use just garlic salt instead of, Maybe that's what she means. I don't know. All right, let's switch to A, which is color three, which is 209 Dark Lavender. I'm using the white tray. Mm hmm I like it. I'm getting used to the spout now. Um, I figured out how to pour the um, frills out correctly because I'm not used to this kind of spout. It's a little bit narrower, I think, than what I'm used to. But, yeah, I've been practicing. And... So, yeah working out pretty darn good for me. And I do have this little funnel thing here, but I don't know. For me, it's just an extra step. They seem to be going into the bottles okay. My aim is pretty good. I'll show you. I can just shake, 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 shake. Shake your drills, shake your drills. All right. I'm doing a lot of fast colors here. Okay, E is one, and that is 155 medium dark blue violet. And I think we only have a couple, so I don't want to pour. Oh, didn't want to pour out that many. So, um, I did read your responses on good times to have the next premiere. And I am thinking, okay, so you're all in different time zones. So, make sure that you... Press the notification bell or whatever it is because it will give you a 30 minute warning and then, you know, I don't know, two minute warning or something. Now, I am on Pacific Time. I'm in Oregon. So if you're on the East Coast, you're probably going to be at least three hours ahead of me and in the Midwest, maybe two hours ahead of me. Yeah, I'm always behind. Um, so, what I am going to do, let's do color 17, which is 939. Let's just look that up real quick before I go on. And 939 is very dark navy blue. Okay, so I'm going to... Record a video on Wednesday, 
and I'm going to schedule the premiere 4 o'clock my time. So if you're on the East Coast, that's probably going to be 7 o'clock your time. I need to move my light a little bit here. And we're going to shoot for uh, on Wednesday evening. That'll be the next premiere. And I will be doing the um, one that you guys picked up, the panel. And I thought it would be kind of fun. I'm going to ask you guys questions. And then if you're watching the premiere, you can give the com. you know, you can go into the chat thing and answer the questions. And it's going to be getting to know you questions. So I will ask the questions, you guys respond. And then if you are watching the video later, you can go down into the comments and you can write your responses in the comments. And I think we'll only go, what do you think? Let me know. 20 minutes or 30 minutes? What do you think is a good time frame for a premiere? How long will you sit there and be bored with me? <laughs> so let me know before, well, as soon as possible, and then we'll see what everybody says, and then we'll I'll try to come up with a time frame. Because these are for you and me to engage and get to know each other. That's my whole purpose for doing these. So yeah, we're going to be doing some getting to know you questions. And maybe you guys have some ideas of what, you know, how we can have a conversation in a premiere. So yeah, I'm open for suggestions, whatever you guys want. We can do, you know, different things during the premieres. And also, you can always ask questions. If you have any questions about diamond painting or how-tos, what you'd like to see on my channel, what you like, what you don't like. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. I am looking forward to doing that. I really like the premieres. Man, that is, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really don't want to do whipping chats in the premieres, so, I mean, I'll still be diamond painting, but I'll be asking questions. So maybe we'll try, like, five questions. What do you think of that? But yeah, give me some more ideas. And also, another question I have. <clears throat> how often would you like me to do the premieres? Because I do my whip and chats every day. But I forgot yesterday because I was so focused on 
trying to figure out all that premiere stuff. So, yeah, I forgot to do the whip and chat yesterday. So, yeah, I'll still be doing my whip and chats in the morning. And then we'll throw in premieres if you want them once a week, a couple times a week. You let me know. So who thinks I can get this section done today? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Becky posted yesterday. She did a unboxing of some purchases she made. And um, she said that she was going to be laying some drills down on the Craftably A Dreamy Retreat, which we're doing together. So then she would give an update. So I'm curious how she's doing over there. Yeah, so expect me probably today and tomorrow I will be working on this canvas. <clears throat> and then probably Wednesday because I'll put this one away and I will be on... I'm calling it my triple whipper project because that's my third canvas. <laughs> but yeah, I'll work on that Wednesday because I'll have it out for the premiere. That one's going to be around for a while because I have five panels to do, so... I'm looking for ones. Don't have very much on the agenda today. I think it's going to be a gloomy day outside. It looks like not gonna, yesterday was a gloomy day too. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a busy day, busy morning. I've got to go get the uh, water jugs filled. Because my two five-gallon jugs are empty. And I've got to take Ellie to the beauty salon and get her nails done. They are getting long. She hasn't been for a long time. But I think I mentioned that before because of her her legs and the doctor didn't want her being too active. And but she's on all of her medications. She is doing better. Fingers crossed. So I think we're good to go down there and get her nails done. Yeah, so she hasn't had them cut since November. But 
they're just now starting to get long. I think her nails are don't need to be cut as often as what I take her, only because she gets them cut and it's like, did they even cut them? I mean, they don't look any different to me. So I'm hoping this time that they have grown and I'll be able to see how much they cut. I should measure it. I need to take a class in nail cutting for dogs. Then I could do it myself. I wonder if they offer those classes. I mean, I would have to have a hands-on class. Because I don't want to get down and, you know, where they bleed and stuff. But I think what they do is they... I don't know if they cut them or they use that little... Oh, what do they call it? I can't think of the name of it. Where they... Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think of it. And I know you guys are probably screaming at me what it is, but um, oh, anyway, I always tell them just cut them to where they're going to be the shortest. I don't know what they do, but I'll have to ask them. When I go down there tomorrow, I may ask them, do you offer a class? on cutting dog's nails. Okay, I think we can fit in maybe this percent sign here. Number nine. Five, five, four. Light. Violet. That's a pretty color. Not a whole lot of those. Yeah, but today... Not a whole lot going on. So, yesterday I was watching Young Sheldon and fell asleep. Yeah. I gotta stop cuddling on the couch with the LA. <laughs> yeah, I got Ellie's sheets back on the bed, so. She's crawling underneath the blankets again. She did not like those other sheets I had on. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Silly dog. <laughs> Look up some pretty stars to do. 22. Okay, and that says... 3842. Let's see what that is. 3842. Dark Wedgwood. Hmm. So that's what Wedgwood looks like. So what I've been doing, which I really kind of like, is spill my drills out into this, and then I shake, 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 shake your drills, shake your drills, and then, and then I take my straightener and I just move them down a little bit. 
and I use all those that are in a line. <laughs> and then I shake, shake, shake again. <laughs> oh, how crazy. All right, do I want to talk about anything else before I go? Oh, I did. I did write down a couple things because um, you guys did do some comments. Um, so... You did say you wanted to see my staff videos. Again, more professional than the last time I did them, which wasn't very good. So that'll be on the agenda eventually. Um, and let's see, I told you about the price or um, that I made a mistake. That was a Amazon. So now I can throw that away. So yeah, I'll do um, I'll do some stash um, showing off, and uh, most of you um, appear to live not near me. So your key times were during the week that you wanted to do the um, premieres. And it was in the evening, so around 7 your time, which would be about 4 in the afternoon, my time. Um, and, yeah, it was always weekdays. So we had one Saturday afternoon, which, you know, and that would be... You know, I can throw one in on the weekends. So we can do one during the week, maybe. What do you think? And then one on the weekend. So, yeah, so that's all the notes I had. Told you about my meatloaf recipe. Um, do I have any other notes here? Oh, um, I think that is. Oh, the other thing was you did want me to rotate my triple whipper project. So, to be working on different canvases during my whip and chat. So, I'm going to do that. Um, any other suggestions you have, put them down in the comments. And I think that's it for today. So, I appreciate you stopping by and visiting with me. And, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying all your comments and interacting with me. Yeah, so have a wonderful Monday. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay dry. <laughs> and have fun diamond painting. <laughs>